Hi everyone, this week on the Rose for All channel we'll be painting another belly spinner. I had this beautiful green spinner blade laying around so I thought I'd match this lore with it and I'm not trying to replicate any specific species of fish but this paint scheme could be the perfect base for a bike or a bass pattern. If you want to see me make this lure out of wood, you can click the link in the description down below. The first color we'll be using is white. We'll put this all over the lure to hide the lead holes and burn marks. Next step is putting some black on top and along the sides. The scales will come on top of this. Now make sure to dry the lure very well with a heat gun because the next step is wrapping it in mesh and painting the scales. I'm using Createx Pearlized Green. You can be very generous with the green because we do not want any black to come through. We want very bright scales. As you'll see here, I should have put on a little more green because the scales are still quite dark. But we'll go over the scales with a little pearlized gold to make them shine a little more. It still looks quite good. Then here I'll be painting the belly with an off-white to make the off-white. I'm putting about 5 drops to 1 drop of pearlized gold. And you want to make enough room to paint on the fence because the fence will not paint nice on the scales. The spinner blade I'm trying to match this lure to has a gold shimmer to it, so here I'm using the Createx Pearlized Gold again and just spraying the entire lore with it. it gives it a really nice gold shine and like I said a minute ago this will also help to brighten up the scales a little bit This step is optional, but I like to put some black on the back. Well, that rhymes. And uh, if you want to, you can put some black around the eye as well. I think it just looks nice, but if you like the full scale back, you can leave it without. I'll make the fence a dark orange. I'll be putting 5 drops of this bright orange with 1 drop of this brown. And I'll be using this homemade stencil. I have a video on that as well. I'll link it in the description down below.
to make the fence look realistic I put the stencil back on and I just spray a little black on the top and at the base of the fin this gives it a shadow look looks quite good Now to finish off the fence, I'll draw some lines with a pencil. I freehand the lines, but I follow the curves of the fin. This line will follow the top. The lines on the bottom will of course follow the bottom. And the middle lines will just be straight. To match the spinner blade I'll be putting some blue on the belly. This was a mistake but in a later step I'll be covering it back up. All my videos are filmed with my phone with the front camera so the screen is facing away from me. So it's really hard to tell if something is out of frame, out of picture. So my apologies for that. But I'll try to explain as best I, as I can what is happening off screen and here back with the same orange from the fence I'm putting some orange on the back and on the front and I'm also covering the blue up a little so it's not as bright When gluing on the eyes, make sure to put on just a tiny bit of glue because if it squeezes out, it's next to impossible to get off and the super glue will dissolve the paint job. The reason I didn't paint this as a bike pattern yet, like the spinner blade, is because I feel like I'm not at that level yet. Bike patterns are really hard to make them look well, to make them look good. So I just left it at this and maybe in a couple of months when I'm better at painting, I can try this again and paint an actual bike. But like I said at the start of the video, if you want to see me make this floor out of wood, you can click the link in the description down below. And with all that said, thanks for watching.